guys, John Davenport here from Fulgurobly.com with another Let's Edit video. This week, uh, we're going to take a look at Topaz Impression, which is a new product from the Topaz people. And, uh, you know, I haven't actually had a whole lot of time to play around with it, so this is kind of um, uh, new to me as well. I was actually away while they launched this, and I finally found the time to to download the demo that they sent me and, and uh, take a look at it. So uh, let's dive in and see how it works. So you can um, you can drag any photo here and it will open that photograph. I, I can just close this little window here and you don't have to um, you don't have to have this window open of course. Uh, you, they have a tour here as well. So it's loading all these presets so I'll just close this out. But basically any photograph you want to work on if you want to change your photo just drag it in and it will pop it in and then it'll create its uh, you know various different um, presets that you can choose from and then you have the ability like all the other Topaz products to kind of modify those so the default one here that uh, that shows up is just this black and white charcoal one but there's all different kinds you have this one here um, a colored pencil one a da Vinci sketch and obviously each one of these is kind of geared towards a different style of, of painting and art. So that's the whole idea behind Topaz Impression is that you get this kind of artistic look to your photos. Um, it's interesting that it's a standalone product so you don't actually need anything else. You don't need Lightroom or Photoshop to use it which is nice. Um, I think that's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to take a look at one of these here. Uh, Let's do the, well, I kind of like that one. Let's do the colored pencil first here. So you have the ability to actually go through and change all of these things with a whole bunch of different settings. So you can change your paint volume, which will just brighten things up, I guess, or kind of change things around. You can change your brush size from very thin to very thick, and that's going to determine your edges and, and how well they blur and everything. Um, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. You can determine your the amount of smudging you want. So if you want something very fluid and blurry, like this, this photo is kind of perfect for that because it's this water photo. So something like that probably would look kind of cool here. And I'll pull it down just a little bit. Um, you could have a long stroke length which should make it really kind of over the top here, kind of color outside the lines if you will, or shorter stroke length, and that'll just you know make things a little more crisp. Again, you can go really short, and then you have all this little detail here. Um, for this particular photo, I kind of like it a little bit on the longer side. Uh, stroke width, again, it's just controlling how each brush stroke that is determined here through whatever algorithm Topaz is using is kind of um, demonstrated in the photo. So you either have a thick width or a thin width and that's kind of going to determine how the photo looks and it's a lot of fun that they give you all this uh, stuff to play around with. I really kind of like that, they, that you have all this control and not only do you have all that control but you actually have different types of strokes that you can use so or different types of brushes here so um, different presets will create different looks within your photograph uh, and I kinda like this that they give you at least a whole maybe what's it, about maybe 12 or so 14 different different strokes which really lets you get um, kind of a unique look to your photograph uh, or very different looks to your photograph so I'm kind of liking this. The other cool thing is that you have the ability to go through and change the colors within the um, image. So you can see as I, as I hover over these different colors here, you can see that they're highlighted, or at least the ones that exist within the photo are highlighted with this red overlay. So if I change the uh, red saturation here to drop it all the way down, we should see uh, some things kind of turn to gray. Um, that one's not too good. Maybe we'll try, let's try this orange one here and drop the orange saturation down. Let's see what happens. 
So you can see how that kind of went more to the gray side. You can also really crank it up and that will create a nice, uh, very saturated look here. Uh, so it's all how you want to go about it. Um, I like that they added this individual color because you are able to do that. And then of course you have your overall uh, setting which controls everything. So that's very over the top and then you can change your hue around which is kind of cool uh, if you want to go very uh, over the top and crazy with it. Um, you know, that's all up up in the air. This, this kind of a software is all for being really creative and uh, just like with Lightroom, if you double click, you go back to uh, the basic zero here. So it's very easy to go back. Uh, you do have some basic controls here with uh, brightness, contrast, and vignette. You have a light direction, which apparently should help control the way the shadows are formed from the lines. Um, so as you move this around you'll see the different uh, different ways the lighting is kind of portrayed through the painting. So um, it's just a, a way of kind of changing the look uh, of the photograph that you have here. And then finally you have the ability to add textures. So they provided a whole bunch of different types of textures here. Uh, and then you have the strength of that texture and the size, which uh, this is going to look kind of crazy because it's uh, really over the top. But, you know, the fact that you have all of these things built into this program is uh, pretty impressive. And then you can change the uh, color of that background also. So if you want to go with something a little bit different, you can uh, add kind of a blue background to your texture, which will give it kind of this blue tint to the background. Uh, so overall, I've only played with this program for maybe 15 minutes so far, and I think it's actually really kind of cool. But not only does it work as an independent program, but let me just dive over here and grab uh, Lightroom. So if I want to work, say I'm in Lightroom and I want to bring this photograph into Topaz Impression, I can just right click on it and I can uh, say edit in Topaz Impression and you can edit a copy uh, with the Lightroom adjustments that you've applied. So Lightroom will go ahead and create that copy as a TIFF file and then it will import that right into Impression. Impression will do its thing and create the presets and then you have the ability to obviously um, select any of these presets that you want to use so let's let's uh, let's do this Da Vinci one here. So let's select this third one, fourth one down here on the right hand side. So it's kind of this weird looking thing here. You have these kind of like it almost looks like trees and stuff. Let's uh, jump in here um, and just play around with this a couple more seconds here. See what happens. So um, I'm gonna reduce the coverage, which should yeah. And then I'm actually going to come in, I'm going to increase my saturation. So I want to retain those colors, see what happens. So this is kind of cool. It gives a, a very interesting look to the photo. I'm liking the way this is coming out now. Um, it, it really just transforms the way that this photograph looks. So uh, I'm kind of impressed with it. Um, it's obviously going to be something that, you know, people will like and people and some people won't like. Uh, but I, I think it's a, a cool little addition. It's definitely different than uh, Topaz Simplify. I was when I first heard about this, I thought, oh well, isn't Topaz Simplify just the same thing? But it is very different. And probably next week or the week after, I'll do kind of a head-to-head -head comparison between the two, uh, just to show you the differences. Uh, but this one kind of I think does a better job at creating more uh, a more art like painted look to the photograph than simplify i think simplify does an okay job and i've had some good results with it but i think this one offers just a little more control and a little more flexibility uh so anyway i just kind of wanted to give a brief overview of it it's not really a tutorial like most of the let's edit videos are i will do one in the future but 
I, like I said, I've only really begun to look at Topaz uh, impressions, so I just wanted to get this out there because it is currently on sale, but it's only, I think the sale ends on the 30th of September, so if you want that um, discount, you have to, you know, get get uh, get started and uh, go head on over very quickly, otherwise you'll miss out. So I've already kind of done that for myself because I do want to check this out. Um, if you do want to help support Fulgropathy, you can use the link in the description below and I actually will get a uh, small commission on the sale that I refer from you. Obviously, no obligation. I really like this program. I think it's really cool. Um, if you have any questions, you can let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great one. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.